this demonstration, what we're going to do is we're going to use Quadio to automatically identify the presence of individual speakers based on their direction. And I stress that it's based on their direction, where they are in the room. It's nothing to do with what they're saying or what they sound like. Uh, this is based purely and simply on where they are. So already when we come to look at the multi-channel WAV file that comes out of this, Quadio will have identified my voice and this direction and have associated it with the first channel. I can now switch over to this uh, direction here and uh, Quadio will now have created a second channel uh, for this uh, new angle. So if you imagine I was a second person sitting in a room, for example, uh, sitting around a conference mic, for example. And here's a third person. Now, there's nothing special about these uh, angles. I'm just walking to completely arbitrary angles. Um, and also, there's nothing special about the orientation of the, of the board. Uh, Quadio is completely 360 degrees symmetric, so it wouldn't matter uh, where the people were around the room. Now, in order to qualify as a new angle, uh, I've programmed it so that no two channels can be any closer than 20 degrees uh, 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 together. But apart from that, you can have any number of channels. And this is me back in um, uh, the, uh, uh, the second position. And uh, so my, sh my voice should now be going into the, uh, into the second channel. Let's have a listen. Well, before we have a look at the multi-channel WAV file, let's uh, take a quick look at what uh, you would hear normally uh, were this to be recorded with a conventional uh, desktop microphone or conference mic system. Basically, what you have is just a single channel. Uh, all the voices that were in the room have been reduced down to this uh, down to this single channel. And as a result, it's virtually impossible, just looking at this, for example, it's impossible to work out um, when any individual uh, person was speaking and you know of course you can't even tell how many people were in the room let's so that's that's what it would look like normally um, and uh, let's have a look now at the audio version okay so here's the uh, multi-channel WAV file that was automatically generated by Quadio. And the first thing you'll notice, of course, is there are three channels. That's because I stood in three different positions around the microphone array, each position representing a different speaker that might be sitting around a conference mic. So whereas with the omnidirectional recording, you had no idea of the number of speakers or when each of those uh, uh, speakers was active, uh, Quadio provides you the answer automatically. It tells you there were three speakers, and uh, uh, in a second we'll show you how we can um, listen to each uh, speaker uh, independently. So, um, let's imagine you were now given the task of maybe transcribing this call, or if you were feeding this into an AVR system, for example, an, an automated speech recognition system, then uh, what you can do is you can uh, uh, isolate each active source independently. So let's say, for example, we wanted to listen to the first channel, so I'm just going to mute uh, uh, channels two and three, and we'll play that. It's Quadio to automatically identify the presence of individual speakers based on their direction, and I stress that. You'll notice that it sounds quite dry. Uh, this is de-reverberation. Basically, what's happened is Quadio has created uh, a very tight. I think it's about twenty degree beam width pointing directly towards my mouth. And what this does is it eliminates the um, uh, the echoes, the reflections off of the kitchen walls, but also uh, it is going to be suppressing the ambient noise too. So that's going to sound um, de-reverberated, almost, I don't know, almost synthetic compared to, or synthesized compared to the, uh, 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 to the um, omnidirectional version. Let's have another listen. Speakers based on their direction. And I stress that it's based on their direction, where they are. And we can do the same thing. Let's uh, flip over and we'll have a listen now to the second channel. Uh, Quadio will now have created a second channel uh, for this uh, new angle. So if you... Okay, um, now to make it easier to pick out individual speakers, uh, we can use uh, one of the tools on Audacity, but if, clearly you could embed the, this uh, sort of um, process into your particular application. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a simple sound finder um, and what this will it will do is it will automatically highlight the times when the uh, uh, when the second channel was active. So there you have it. Um, uh, when I play this channel, uh, when I play this uh, first section here, I can now switch over to this ch uh, direction here and uh, So that's when I first spoke and here I am here when I spoke the second time. And this is me back in 
second position. And let's uh, we can apply that to the first channel. There we go. So that's uh, telling us when the first channel was active. In this demonstration, what we're going to do is, and then we can do it to the last channel too. So just quickly, let's do that. And there's my third, third channel. So now, a third person. now there's no so now, if you were given the task of listening to each of those people speaking separately, um, whereas with the omnidirectional recording, you'd basically have to listen to the whole thing and work out when an individual person was speaking. With Quadio, it gives you the answer straight there on the plate. You want to listen to the first person, well, there they are. You want to listen to the second person, there they are. And the third person, there you are. So that's what Quadio does. It automatically has identified the existence of, the presence of, those three speakers and automatically isolated them into those three separate channels. So what we're doing here is we're using Quadio to create, if you like, a software programmable cardioid microphone. By that I mean a, 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 a microphone whose polar pattern is going to track me as I walk around the room. Now, yeah, of course you can buy cardioid microphones today. The point is uh, that they are hardware to find. Um, whereas uh, with Quadio, what we're basically doing is we've programmed it so that it's going to create... Um, if, if, you, if you like, effectively a cardioid pattern that always points towards the active source. So even as I walk around the room, um, uh, it's now tracking me. So what we can do is we can uh, apply Quadio, we can apply increasingly uh, narrow beam widths to eliminate uh, the reverberation. Now I'm standing over a meter away from the, uh, uh, from the microphone array at the moment, and when we listen to the omnidirectional signal, you'll hear that strong reverb coming through. But when we switch over to the filtered version, that reverb uh, will eventually uh, disappear. Now, I'm also going to pause uh, for a second. The reason being, I wanted to show one other feature of this, which is that not only does it de-reverberate, but it also, of course, eliminates, or it certainly suppresses, uh, the level of ambient or background noise. So here's a multi-channel WAV file that uh, Quadio has produced, um, and uh, let me explain what's going on. The first channel here is with a 40 degree full with half maximum beam width that was basically tracking me, moving as I walked around the room. Uh, this is 80 degrees, 120 degrees, and this is 360 degrees. So the final channel here is basically an omnidirectional recording. Let's have a listen first to the omnidirectional recording, and you'll hear that sort of very characteristic echo, if you like, um, uh, uh, from the reverb in the room. Let's take a listen. Whereas uh, with Quadio, what we're basically doing is we've programmed it so that it's going to create, um, if, if, you, if you like, effectively a cardioid pattern that always points towards the... Okay, so uh, that's the omnidirectional version. Let's have a listen now to the 120 degree version. Whereas uh, with Quadio, what we're basically doing is we've programmed so that it's going to create, um, if, if, you, if you like, effectively a cardioid pattern that always points... So your first thing you might have noticed is that the level of ambient uh, back or background noise has, has uh, reduced. There is still um, some reverb in that. You can still tell that I'm uh, standing uh, some distance away from, from a microphone. So let's have a listen now to the 80 degree version. Whereas uh, with Quadio, what we're basically doing is we've programmed it so that it's going to create, um, if, if, you, if you like, effectively a cardioid pattern that always points towards the active source. So, uh, in my opinion at least, now quite a lot of suppression of the, uh, 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 A, of the ambient noise, but secondly of the reverb component as well. And then finally let's listen now to the 40 degree beam width one. So, even as I walk around the room, um, uh, it's now tracking. So what we can do is we can... Uh so whilst uh, I would agree that that has now de-reverberated the sound, in my opinion it's starting to sound a little bit too synthetic. Now, the reason this is happening is because the microphones are not calibrated. These microphones are plus or minus 4 dB, and as a result, what you're going to find is that uh, some frequencies will be thrown into the wrong angle. They will be... Uh, uh, Quadio will uh, throw them into the wrong, uh, uh, in the wrong direction. So um, the solution to that is to just uh, uh, buy slightly better quality microphones that have got uh, better tolerance on them. So 
Um, that's the 40 degree version. Uh, in my opinion, probably something in the region of 60, 70, maybe 80 degrees uh, would be the right sort of level. So let's have a listen now to the uh, that 80 degree one again. Whereas uh, with coding, what we're basically doing is we've programmed it so that it's going to create, um, if, if, you, if you like, effectively a cardio pattern. That now, the other thing that I did during the recording was um, I paused at one point, and that was to demonstrate uh, the... Uh, use of Quadi for eliminating background noise. So to show that off, let's uh, flip over into a uh, dB range, and this is the point where I was quiet. So let's have a listen uh, first to the omnidirectional uh, version. Pause uh, for a second. The reason being, I want. And you can hear that background noise that's going on here. Let's uh, let me isolate that in particular. You can hear that. Listen to that again. Now, let's listen to that now with the 120 degree version. Uh, the RMS level there is a lot less than it was in the previous version. And then we're going to listen to the 80 degree version. And finally the 40 degree version. So what you can see uh, Quadio is doing is, um, because it was uh, focused on my voice at that time, um, it has basically eliminated the background noise, the ambient or the omnidirectional background noise. So there you go. Uh, with Quadio we can create these intelligent, that is to say automatically tracking uh, uh, polar patterns uh, to eliminate reverberation and background noise. In this demo, we're going to use Quadio as a surround sound microphone. So uh, what we're basically doing is I'm capturing the sounds using the little um, acoustic array, the little the microphone array, excuse me, that I have in here, and then sending the output from that to a binaural rendering engine. So uh, presuming that you're listening to this with headphones, please, if you're uh, listening to this with your um, uh, laptop uh, uh, speakers, forget it, it's not going to work. Uh, you need to be wearing headphones. So um, now as I move around the microphone, you should have the impression of me moving around inside your head. Now this is not stereo, okay? Stereo allows a sound source to exist somewhere on a line, a straight line uh, from the left, uh, through, obviously through your head through to the right, whereas binaural will allow sounds to exist anywhere around the head, including in front of and behind the head. So, depending on the head related transfer function that we've used, you ought to be able to distinguish between whether I'm standing in front of you and behind you. Most people can get the left and right. Sometimes it's hard to pick out the, uh, the front back. But certainly this um, uh, uh, would allow you to, to differentiate between speakers um, uh, where this to be put into a conference mic environment, or even for that matter, embedded, for example, or used as a little uh, USB attachment on a, on a smartphone, for example. So there you have it. This is a binaural render uh, of Quadio.